Hello, in this video we'll be looking at syncing when it comes to Chrome OS. Syncing is great, but it's not necessarily something that you may want switched on for everything. There's 12 different options you have when it comes to syncing on Chrome OS, and I'm going to show you that in this video coming up. So you may be thinking why I've got all these Chromebooks and my Chromebox display shown in the background. The reason for that is I'm going to show you a, a good example of why you wouldn't necessarily want to sync. So I've got my Chromebox there and I've got my Chromebook here and I've got my tablet here. My tablet I prefer to have its own wallpaper and my Chromebook I prefer to have its own wallpaper and same with my Chromebox as well. But if I change, if I'm using my laptop in the evening and I've changed the wallpaper. When I come to use my Chromebooks, Chromebooks the next day, the wallpaper's changed as well. So that's a classic example of why you wouldn't want syncing. So I'll just show you. If I change the wallpaper on here, and just change it to something totally different, you'll soon see it will sync between devices like that. Now you might want that, I certainly don't, so I'm going to show you how to do it. We'll have to head over to the computer to show you all the different syncing options. So we've just seen a really good example of why you might not want to have certain sync sets on your Chromebook. As you can see, I've changed my wallpaper, but when I change my wallpaper on my Chromebox, it also changed the wallpaper on my Chromebook and on my Chrome OS tablet, which is not what I want. So I'll show you how you do it. Where you go, you go to your settings down here, and then go to settings there and it's accounts because the syncing is all based on your actual account so on this it's my Chrome computing account so it's accounts and then from there sync in Google services and from there at the top you've got manage what you sync click on that and as you can see it's set to sync everything so for the example we've just done with the wallpaper I would have to do customize sync and then find theme and wallpaper. So it's not just a wallpaper, it would stop any other thing, anything else to change with the theme settings as well. And if I take that off, then that's done it. Now, what you do need to remember is, if for example, like me, I've got the Chromebox, Chromebook, Chromebox tablet. If I wanted to change the wallpaper on my Chromebox, or for it not to affect the other two devices, I would do it on my Chromebox. So this, these settings don't sync with your other devices. It's just for this particular one. So if you didn't want to have the wallpaper sync with any of the devices, you would have to change this on each device. So that's what you would do. Now that's the theme of wallpaper option. I will leave that off because I don't want to sync that in the future. You've got other things here like apps. So if you didn't want to sync apps, that would be a good reason. Now, a good reason to do that is if you don't, if, if one of your devices doesn't have a lot of storage. So on my Chromebox, I might be happy with installing all of my apps, but then if I had a Chromebook with not much storage space, I wouldn't want to sync all of my apps. So in that circumstance, what I would do is I wouldn't change it on my Chromebox, I would change it on my Chromebook not to sync the app. And then we've got bookmarks. So bookmarks, I, I can't really see any reason why you wouldn't want to sync your bookmarks between each device, but that option's there. Extensions, that, that's a good one. Perhaps you don't want to sync your extensions. History, again, it depends. You, you can set it so it doesn't sync your browsing history. Settings, as far as syncing settings, the details it goes into, you'd have to go into the into it some more but what I would assume is if you took that off it wouldn't take into consideration other settings I make on this particular Chromebox. I would personally for now for myself I would leave that but you could obviously have a play around with that as well. You've got reading lists, you've got open tabs. So open tabs is going to be if you've got your Chromebox open, you've got lots of browsers open, if you open up another if you open up your Chromebook, it would sync the open tabs. Passwords, I, I generally would leave that to sync. Addresses and more. Addresses is when you buy stuff online and you put in an address. It's good to sync. I think all of these are beneficial, if I'm being honest with you. So syncing that, I think it's beneficial. Payment method, methods. 
and addresses using Google Pay. Again, I would sync that. Wi-Fi networks, I can't see the reason why you wouldn't sync that. But you do have all these options. So there's 12 different options here. But I think for me personally, the most likely ones which are going to be beneficial is film wallpaper and apps on the basis of you might not want to install. I, I install a lot of apps on my Chromebox that I don't necessarily want to install on my other devices. So that they're really good for that as well. So I hope this video helped. It was just a very quick video just to show you how to change the sync settings on your Chromebook or Chromebox. If it did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching.